Greetings demons and welcome to a Fortnite Battle Royale video. The standard pistol is back after being gone for a whole season and so I'm going to be using nothing but pistols and maybe the odd recon scanner in order to get that victory royale. Let's just jump into it. Right, so I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to drop here, get the shadow tracker pistol and uh, yeah, it just gives me an advantage because Currently, as the loot pool stands, it's very difficult to get anything better than a green pistol without spending a ludicrous amount of gold, which uh, you may notice I don't exactly have that much to begin with. So uh, yeah, Shadow Tracker all the way, and uh, I'll definitely pick up an actual pistol along the way, or a uh, hand cannon might be on the table as well, to be fair. Hello, Maven. Oh, you actually sold the blue pistol. Very nice. Uh, I'll take a shadow tracker, and I guess I might as well buy a rare pistol. Do you have challenges that are interesting to me? Not really. Well, okay, thank you. And there we go. We've got a blue pistol and the shadow tracker. Perfect. So now, realistically, all I actually need is the recon scanner. Because uh, I'm not that likely to end up wanting to get the uh, hand cannon. I'll take it if I get one before I get ha a... Uh, Recon scanner, but yeah, it's not exactly my thing personally. Okay, well, I have no clue where Kitty Rex came from, but they definitely, they definitely just made me waste 800. Um, was it 800 gold I just spent on those two weapons? Eh, whatever. Let's just get into the next one. So there is actually two different pistols that I can get. Obviously we have the Shadow Tracker which is here, but then there's also the, uh, is it called the Black Hawk pistol? The uh, scoped revolver. And uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the scoped revolver normally, so I'm not even gonna bother trying with the uh, exotic, but yeah, I think the best plan of action is just to keep going with the Shadow Tracker, getting the blue pistol off of Maven, you know, I think that's a pretty good situation to be in overall. It feels like a bit of a rarity that I actually uh, run my, like, standard setup when it comes to my preset. Like, I run a lot of themed presets based around the challenges and stuff. But honestly, there's nothing currently, like, I could do Lara Croft or something, but, like, there's nothing in this current season that's really pistol related. So I thought, you know what, I pistols are my favourite weapon type in this game. Let's go with my actual, like, favourite preset to go with, and, uh, yeah. Kibash, Empress, Laser Charm, love them all. I didn't want to pick up the gun. Right, hey, Maven. Thank you. How much does it cost for the pistol? Oh, it's only 25, so all my costs are really from the, uh, from the Shadow Tracker. I mean, that, that's, that's fair enough. I missed way too many shots on that, but I mean, it's a kill. A kill's a kill. And there we go, recon scanner. Perfect. Right, so at this point it's just getting ammo, and I should be fine. Well, at least we can get some ammo from this. How much is it? 30, uh, so it'd be, what, 600? I'd rather not spend that just in case I have to buy the pistol again. Okay, so... I guess moving towards Corny might be an idea, though I just saw shots over this way. We'll loot up the radio station as well. Oh, there is shots. Somewhere in this direction. Well, if we run into them, we run into them. If not, if we don't. So recently I've actually been playing with a lot of other people on their streams, rather than uh, streaming myself, which, you know, not the, not the best idea in all in all fairness, but it is working. But yeah, I've been streaming a lot with Jingles PhD, who I talk about a lot on this channel, and then also Game Boy Bathwater, who uh, yeah has been trying to get back into a bit of Fortnite. So yeah, I'll try and remember to link both of them in the description below. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely just watch our exploits as I attempt to carry players that have not played the game in so long. It's painful. And I mean actually painful, like I, honestly, I, I feel so drained after every session, but it's fun. It's fun, we have a lot of laughs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Well, that was awful. But, hey well, I lost 45 shield, not, not terrible. If you have a fast enough trigger finger, then realistically the pistol is actually pretty good for taking out things like wolves, but not if they all attack you at once. Like, it's fine for taking them like one on one, it's just anything above that, you're not in the best position because of the fact that you're not able to counter them all at once gets a bit gets a bit questionable. Okay, that's a default glider. Hmm. Is it a default though, or is it someone pretending to be a default? Seems like it's probably a default. Oh, maybe not. Maybe maybe it's someone pretending to be a default. They are acting pretty basic though, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I think they were probably an actual default. They were just half decent at building. Where? where? Oh, it's Leo God. Oh no. This is not fun. This is not. This is not neat and dandy. This is not good. Hmm. Okay, so I've got a UFO to one side and I've got an actual player to the other, I assume? Yep, yeah, that looks like an actual player to me. Wow! Okay then. Honestly, like despite how much better the like standard pistol and like the shadow track and stuff like that is compared to what we had last season, you know, reality is often disappointing and uh, you know, unlike Thanos, I can't just snap away half the lobby using a pistol, so I mean... By the way, that is a video that's coming up. The Thanos video is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> As much as I hate spending this much gold, I can't help but admit that like the strategy is somewhat working. The shadow tracker and then getting a blue pistol right off the bat is definitely a strategy and it is like actually probably the best way to do a, a pistol only game. Like unless you're willing to, you know, spend some gold at the upgrade station, which I honestly don't think is worth it. I might upgrade to purple or gold if I run by one, but yeah, I think I'm gonna generally just stick with the blue and the sh and the uh, shadow. Uh, yeah, shadow tracker. That's what it's called. I I blanked on the name for a second, even though I've been saying it this entire video. How the machine actually sells pistols? There's a person in this building. Oh, lowly default. Excuse me, did you die? <laughs> I swear I hit them for more than 100 health originally. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Recon, recon scanner. Perfect. I saw someone gliding. Where'd they go? Yep, they did land here. And there we go. Headshot, nice one. I do need more ammo though if I'm gonna have any chance. So uh I need to get Maven. I need to talk to Maven. Hello, could you give me a shadow tracker? Thank you. I don't need anything else from you this time. Thank you though. I think this might be the first time I'm gonna be leaving here without full shield. Bit weird, but okay. You know what? I want to make sure I actually have plenty of ammo. Let's buy a bit. That should do. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Time to die, chicken. Oh, it's not one shot. Okay. And now I show off how bad my aim is on small targets. How can I not hit the... Like, I know the fast and everything, but like... Oh, wow, it's... That was embarrassing.
See, much easier with a bigger target. <laughs> much easier. Slurpy, slurpy truck. I don't know why, like, I forget that this is here, honestly, because I could just not use any shields while I'm up there and then come down and just get that because it gives you 100. I always forget about it. It's such a shame to me that the dual pistols are no longer in the loot pool at all. It's like, I'd have been fine if it was just the hot rock pistols, but no, they're, they're just not in. No NPC sells the hot rock pistols yet, which ho hopefully there'll be a, uh, a character that sells them in the end, but right now... Like, my favourite pistol type is the dual pistol, and it's just not in the game. It's really disappointing, honestly. Laser Chomp's great. I love the Laser Chomp. Just a, just a random tangent, but like... I I really like the dumb references that are like not um, actually licensed things that are in this game. There's a bunch of them. Like, But like my favourite is definitely Laser, Laser Chomp, which if you don't know, I talk about it... Well, I don't talk about it. I reference it a lot. Um, but it's actually a reference to Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, where he goes on about... Uh, about sharks with fucking laser beams attached to their heads and all that, that stuff. It's it's very it's it's very funny. I, I'm a huge fan of it. It's actually... Dr. Evil's one of my, uh, my sound alerts for streams, which uh, is pretty funny as well. I, I don't know. I, I'm a huge fan of dumb, like, 80s era like comedy and stuff like that whether it be that it was actually made in the 80s or was just like you know supposed to evoke that feeling oh hello i i'm just a fan of it i i just think it's funny let's go see what all the shooting's about eh okay that's an actual player there I see them. Hmm. I no longer see them. I don't know where they went. Oh! There they are. Didn't even stand a chance. Shake down real quick. Okay. I'll die in a second. There's a car just ahead of me. Yeah. Oh wow, they actually hit. Wow. Great hack! Are you are you actually kidding me? And on that note, I'm gonna call it there. So I'm sorry that I couldn't get a win out of this because I've been getting wins pistol only, like in my own time, like pretty frequently. It's kind of annoying that I can't do it on video. But in any case, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Luna rainbow flag, happy pride, rabbit with bats, streamer let's play. Take them out like dinosaurs, FNAFA, troll, not the leader of a cult, rabbit with sacks, it's Luna.